Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another video on Madhubani painting. To watch this video in Hindi, you can check the link in the description box below. Also, you will see all the material listed there. So, let's begin. So, we're going to use a handmade paper which should be a little smooth. Also, I'm going to use a nib in a nib holder which looks like this. It is similar to a calligraphy pen. You have to just note that the point should be a little, little thin to sketch. I have diluted some black acrylic paint in a bowl. I'm ju just going to dip my nib in it and shake off a little extra color that I have in the nib and try to start sketching. Now, I just measure with my finger and make a mark on the pen and there is where my border is going to start. So, I'm going to sketch it freehand. Please make sure to do it also freehand because that is the right way to do it. As it is an age-old traditional folk art, uh, people used to do it always freehand so what you can do is just to be sure you can just practice this on a rough page and then put it on the paper finally with the nib or as an alternative you can also use a waterproof pen but, but try to stick to being freehand because that is how you will get the real look of the folk art so, as you see, I'm starting with the borders and I'm just trying to create double lines first. Then again, I'm going to measure again with my finger and just try to make a little mark, tiny mark there. And there is where my next straight line is going to be. Yeah, in this case, not really straight because I'm doing it freehand, of course. But what is the main thing that this is what it should look like not very straight because if you do it with scale you actually ruin the look of it so just try to be do it freehand so as you see we are going to do this repeat this on all four sides we are just these are simple lines that i'm using the border i'm just keeping it very very simple and i'm going to repeat this on all four sides starting with this side again using my fingers to measure to create a mark and then moving my paint or I mean the nib on the paper and trying to create the border on this side so now we will just wait a little bit because my border on the other side that I made is not dry and I'll just quickly do the bottom the the line below the line that I created right now and now I'll just try and test if it's dry not yet completely so I'll just lift up my hand and draw it is a little difficult but you should always wait till the paint is completely dry so this is how we complete it so now similarly I'm just going to repeat the double lines that I made on the other side so we will just complete this on all four sides I'll just show you quickly what I have done. First, let me finish on the top, the double lines. Yes, I'll just finish it because I have not just done double lines here. I'm also going to create one more line here, additional line, just to give it a different look when you'll see here. So here, as you see, I'm going to create actually not just double line, but a triple line, as you see here so just completing the border this way and do the same on all four sides repeat it so quickly we will finish the border on all four sides and wait for the paint to dry before we start with the actual sketch that we are going to make today today i'm going to show you how to make cow in madhubani style so for that i'll show you very easy tricks to sketch the face of the cow so just try to let us see and below that write a small c and then try to join both ends by a big curve and similarly from the low just try to join both the ends with a big curve and so this is very easy way to make the face of any animal that you are going to draw in madhubani style now i'm just doing the double line as you see on your screens so this is just to Highlight the motif later when we fill in color. And then moving on, I'm just going to create the body. For the body, just you note that 
find a middle point or a little bit lower than the middle and create a random zigzag line pulling it down with a curve to create the back of the cow and just trying to pull it more further down with another curve and now what I'm going to do is again create the double lines inside first finish with that then I'll show you how to create the legs so first I'll try to finish these sketch with then turn my painting and just do a slant line now right ahead I'll just create parallel slant lines and double lines and then with a curve fold it in to give it a look of a leg for the next leg what I have done is I have given it a little tilt in between an angle so that it looks a little bent so this is another way to create a leg and I'm just doing it the same repetition making it parallel now we'll work on the neck because I let the paint for the leg dry and for the neck also again measuring with my fingers I'm just creating a zigzag pattern because you know Madhubani painting is very decorative so it has to be decorated with these beautiful geometric patterns as you see on your screens that I'm making right now so first finishing the neck the pattern at the neck again I'm just doing another pattern trying to create parallel lines with double lines then later and making tiny circles inside those parallel lines that I created so this gives another beautiful pattern that we can create to decorate any motif or any design that we have done in Madhubani now we'll turn the painting again and now trying to finish with the body or the legs that we made now here as you see I just kept it slant and straight not that tilt and join the body here and the lower with all different types of curves very simple and one flow curves to be used here so try to draw with a flow okay and maybe when you are not comfortable drawing directly you can just practice it a little bit on a rough page and then try to draw it freehand okay so now as you follow the next step I'm going to do it the legs again so again measuring with my finger always the distance between the legs I mean the parallel lines that create the legs so this is the front one again with a little tilt and angle so now I'm going to do the tail of course it's a cow it has to have a tail this is just simple flowy uh, line to creating the tail of the cow just trying to make the double lines again and then I'm going to make the double lines outside the hair on the tail and cover it with black paint inside and inside the tail just create those fine lines to give some design to it very very important to note right now is the eye the eye in Madhumani painting has to be big bold and bright so we continue to finish our eye as I said it has to be big bold and bright and this is how we sketch it so moving on with the finishing the body completely of the cow we also have to make the horns that you can see and the ears so we repeat the same for the next one below and we are almost done with the body now we will move on just to finish decorating the body actually which is another very important feature of Madhwani style that it has to be very very decorative as it is folk art so as you see we finish with the triangle pattern that I did now here are the semicircular patterns that I made above it and on the back side near the tail I'm just going to make another floral pattern to further beautify it so this is how I do it again using those checks that we use very commonly inside to fill it with a pattern now we start to move on further and we try to use those checkers patterns for the legs and moving on to the other one and for the legs as well so we do it again we further beautify it with these patterns and we repeat it for all the four legs 
Now inside the the body of the the cow, I'm creating little floral patterns. Now, if you've missed my session one for the beginners on Madhubani painting, it is really helpful. It is like a guide to learn how to sketch motifs. I have shown how to draw these floral patterns and various other floral patterns. So if you want to watch that, you can check the description box below. I have put a link there and you can learn how to sketch these motifs, the floral motifs very easily because we, have, we will further need it to draw the background. So again, moving on, these tiny floral part patterns also near the neck to finish the body of the cow. So this is how we do it. And then we will fill the entire leg as we did before with the same pattern. We repeat it throughout and we try to finish it. So first we do the checks. Then we do those semicircular patterns in between and then leave a, a little white space because we are going to fill in colors there. So we repeat it for the other leg and this is how we will finish the cow and we will move on to the background. Now as I said before the session one on Madhubani painting is about these flora and fauna and all the motifs used to decorate the background so please watch it so that it will be easy for you to understand this how to draw draw but i would repeat it for you of course and this is like just drawing the branches in a flow so as you see just move your hand in a flow and try to make those branches so we have to fill the entire background with these branches first and then we are going to draw the floral pattern or flowers on these branches along with the leaves. So this is how we try to do the branches. So before we move on to the flowers and the leaves, we will finish with the branches. And this is now I'll show you how to do the floral pattern. So repeat now. Uh, one more thing to note is that when you are putting these flowers on the tree, you have to be careful not to put too many at one place or too less at one place. So you have to really place them well and you have to plan it before you place it. So for that, I'll put the sketch once it is completed and you can take a reference of that and see where to exactly place them. Or you can plan it on your own, of course. So we will complete this background, finish it completely, fill it completely with this branches, leaves and flowers as it is supposed to be completely covered with flora and fauna. And we are going to almost cover it everywhere with this. And this is how exactly our sketch is going to look like before we start filling in colors. So now moving on to coloring the painting, I'm using acrylic paint here. So I'm just filling the entire body and face of the cow with this very nice vibrant blue. So just diluted the paint a little bit water and prepared the perfect consistency to start filling in color inside the body of the cow. So this is how you do it. Finish coloring, filling the body. Now here you have to take care of these tiny flowers that we created because these are very tiny and you have to really take care when you are filling in color so that you don't color inside them. So these are going to stay as it is and we are just covering the background as here you say in the body to cover it completely with blue color as you see in the picture. Now if the color is very patchy, it looks a little patchy, let it dry and cover it with another coat. But for me at the moment it looks good and I'll move on with it. And... I'll also use a color blue for my the legs of the cow wherever there is blank space and the neck area. So I'm going to completely fill it with blue and then move on to my next color which is going to be red. So after finishing blue of course I forgot the tail so you have to use a blue of course for the tail also. So let's finish the blue and then move on to red oh, this is my favorite favorite red it's bright red 
it brings life to every painting so here in the floral pattern and the triangles that we created earlier and all the flowers that we created on the branch we are going to fill it with red color so to learn to draw this flower easily very easy trick and technique you can watch the session one and the link is in the description so this is how we fill it and now fill the border with the same red, red color now in the border you have to note that you have to just fill all the four sides but those tiny squares that are created with the intersection of these borders you have to leave them because i'm going to fill it with yellow color which i'll show you later so here we move on to the next color which is yellow now in the semicircles the semicircular pattern that we created near the neck that is going to be yellow also those floral patterns the center is going to be yellow and as i said before these intersection where the it creates like a square is going to be filled with yellow and the back side the floral pattern the center is going to be yellow so this is where all the yellow comes now moving on to our next color which is green which is actually going to bring life to our painting to the background we are going to completely fill all the leaves sorry not all the leaves but the leaves all of them which are sticking to the branches with green color and all the leaves that are fallen which are not on the branches we are just going to leave it blank so this is my style or you can also fill it with green it will look equally nice so you can fill all with green or you can do as i am doing it it is just to create a look just to give that madhubani look that i'm trying to leave some leaves and just not making it monotonous trying to make it a little interesting with some patterns so we will quickly try to fill the, all the leaves on the branches with this green color this is a bright nice shade of olive and trying to fill all the leaves with it so after finishing the leaves now i'll show you those little tiny leaves which i left which were the fallen leaves i am trying to show it as a dried leaf so i'm just trying to fill it with the same pattern that we always do with the nib either you can use this nib again or you can also use a rotring pen which is 0.5 mm uh, rotring isograph pen or any fine liner black in color and just try to fill it with pattern so this is a little easier method for a beginner to do it but i would really recommend if you want to go the authentic way please 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 use those nib so we will try to finish our painting is almost almost ready guys will be soon done i hope you like this video and you learned something today and this tutorial was helpful for you in some way so please give me a thumbs up please like my video if you liked it and do share it with all your friends who want to learn this painting or learn this art also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notifications and we'll see you on friday with my next session for the beginners really simple tricks and techniques to draw and sketch the motives so the theme will be a surprise of course but we'll soon update you if i come up with something new and just as i said press the bell icon subscribe to my channel so that you get all the notifications so guys we are almost done with the painting and this is how it looks like bye see you again very very soon stay tuned cheers bye